wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Wars have been fought over oil. In a short matter of time, they will be fought over war. Wow. Wow. We're doing it. Wow, what a camera angle, Mark. I know, right? Amazing. It's wow. uh it's so <sighs> I've had yeah. some little, uh, I've had a, some, a flight recently. Yeah. Things yeah. got a little hectic. Things shifted. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll get into that later. We'll okay. get it. All right. We'll talk All about right. my, hey, listen. A little bumpy trip, but we'll get into yeah. that later. Okay. Bumpy trip. Yeah. All right. And be careful uh, out there. You got to be careful out there. <laughs> How you I mean, been? Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Yes. Just so excited. The world gonna be better. Everything perfect. Yeah, uh, I was I was out all weekend, so I really missed out on anything that might have happened. Um, <laughs> I just kind of, you know, had a watch, went to a couple farmers markets. Ooh, yeah, just uh, really, just really had a great time. So nice, nice. Yeah, nice. luckily, luckily, there's nothing happening in the world to really bring any of that down. So. Yeah, no, you know, there was like a moment there. Um, we're like I don't know if you're like you put on a bike, you know, or like yeah. it starts like going fast, and you know you get the yeah. which. It's just for show that bike. Yeah. Um, but like yeah. you're going yeah. too yeah. fast and you start to wobble. You know what I'm saying? It kind of felt mm-hmm. like that, except on the earth. Yeah, like the, as if yeah. like the wheels okay. of the earth were kind of go round and shaky yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, we made seems it. Seems fine. Yeah, okay. we made it. it seems yeah. fine. Okay. All right. Well, what? Glad I don't have things to worry about still. So. Yeah, nice. and you know, because here we are. It's just thirteen. It's thirteen. Yeah. Lucky, lucky number, number thirteen. Lucky number thirteen. Well, we're lucky that we made it because We've, after often, the cash infusion from Chairman Xi, we just uh, continue to make improvements around yeah, here. Yeah. Things really What's coming a, together. Better every week. Yeah, um, better every week. And uh, I mean, a lot of we talk about like the dumpster fire, right? That yeah. is like geopolitics and stuff like that um but also yeah. we you know the world is kind of also just like actually on fire ah well i mean i think that's a little you know it's a little strong it's not like there's multiple places that there are wildfires in like march or whatever come on marcus that's crazy yeah, that's could you imagine crazy. if like there are multiple wildfires in just like texas or whatever I don't know. in february just, uh, to throw out like a random state <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, no, and um, so March tenth straight month, yeah, to be hottest on record, and Ooh. there has been a now fourth mass bleaching event. Now, yeah. I'm not a climate scientist, okay, yeah, but I heard about this coral reef bleaching, and it's bad because there's this incredibly insane, intricate ecosystems called coral reefs that yeah. help sustain the livelihood of the planet now quick note we live on the planet now that's true yeah back to the science yeah now how does this bleaching happen is that from the the bleach demons you told me about or is that different <laughs> no I, no okay all we, right we're not ready for public disclosure of the <laughs> okay. of the texts right. yeah 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 okay yeah, okay all right all right yeah. the ancient texts aren't let's just keep that quiet <laughs> for now all right okay um <laughs> But no, the, it, the the water gets so hot, the coral essentially dies. It's not like bleaching, right? You think of like, oh, it's bleaching. No, it's turning white because it's dead. Yes, yes, yeah, it is. This is dying, which is probably not great, you know. No. Considering I don't know, those coral reefs are incredibly like prolific uh, with with species. Yeah, quite yeah. kind of necessary to the entire uh, ecosystem of uh, the oceans. Yes, and this is where you know. We don't know, like you can't predict what happens. All you can, yeah. all you can say is that, you know, if one animal can't eat food here, you know that breaks a chain, and then that's going to affect it. And if you have things like that's got literally millions of different species within its own ecosystem and shit, 
what yeah. like we don't we we can't really understand at least i can't you know there's probably some someone way smarter than me that is trying to figure these things out and like warn people yeah. but at the end of the day you know it's happening you know it's happening i think there's like a lot of there's a lot of like mitigation type of stuff um over like energy use and you know from keeping office buildings going like you know 24 7 with lights to you know really building out public transportation um letting people work from home remember Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. remember when the you know when people who 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 could just work from home work from home yeah and it like actually helped quite a bit for some for some reason it cut down on you know a couple things with people yeah um and uh I, like many other things, it just seems like there's the not the, you know, just the political organization to actually really start start focusing on 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 real solutions that will allow us to exist on this planet, because that's what yeah. they stake. You know, people talk I, about I, saving you the saying, on the all the alternative, though, specifically for work from home. If those devs don't get in for the last year of crunch marcus gta 6 might not be as good now do you care about an enduring thriving ecosystem or do you care if you know the the young lady that you're going to pick up with your car uh is properly rendered or not all right i mean what you think about the important <laughs> things here all right <laughs> as long as <laughs> which, like, that's why the thing gta is like it's just like it's, it's well it's is the main character going to be a white man? God, man. In a series of games that's where just, the main character has thing. not we gotta, always consistently been a white man? Can we, can we talk, talk about, about this? Gamergate to one, year, one uh, oh. week here. It's, man, that whole yeah. thing is pot. I saw that they, they've been arguing about Warhammer this week, which, like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Everybody in the Warhammer community paints their own minis. It's just been a thing for, like, decades. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think <sighs> they should just, I don't know. Go outside. Like if you cannot yeah. be responsible with yeah. toys and Wi-Fi, <laughs> like just go outside. Go, sit, this is what I said log. yesterday. Go find a real problem. Okay. Yeah. If your problem is that other people are playing with the toys not the way that you play with them, you got to go outside, man. It, fine. You you're not allowed. You're not allowed to be at your computer anymore. You got to fucking. Yeah, you've been found irresponsible and, with toys and opinions. Yeah, go um, out there and touch some grass while you still can. Yeah, while you still can. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. I was looking at the, um, you know, the the satellite mapping, like, temperature projections for Africa, like, the past couple of days. And it had blown past, like, orange and red and black, and it had gotten the white. And I was like, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, they got they coming up. We gotta, yeah, like they gotta come up with new shit. Yeah, like how do you get past dark red? Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, that was like the the danger thing, and they're yeah. like, no, no, it could be more dangerous. I, well, I don't like that. <laughs> dangerous? I mean, I, it makes sense. I guess white should be the most dangerous, you know, from everything I know about the world. But the ancient texts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, sorry, sorry, I've got. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it is. Um, I don't know. Seeing this stuff, and especially too, where like we, you know, it is like this whole save the planet. We're not saving the planet. The Earth is going to be fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. You know, George Carlin went off on about that decades ago. Like, yeah, hey, it's us. We can't. It's gonna make it, man. It's it's made it through everything so far. Yeah. There's there's only so much we can do to it, and I don't think we can do enough to really, you know, hurt it. Well, and it'll thing, figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And the things that it can do to us. Yeah. You know. I'm, yeah. Where hey, I like I don't know about you. I'm pretty fleshy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a real problem. I'm, yeah. I'm full of like liquids and like yeah, yeah, just these like bags that and like, fragile too like oh they're not God. you know i just get to discover that every year on this earth more it's just like oh this whole thing could fall apart like a jenga tower immediately you exactly know? one wrong move 
I sat I in my don't. chair for three hours too long yesterday, and my body was like, nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're incapacitated for the next yeah. eight hours. That's that's it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, figure it out. Take a muscle relaxer. Yeah, no, and that's where, like, I think part of it is, is that a lot of it is, like, there's going to be drastic change, but I don't think it necessarily has to mean a drastic change for people's, like, day-to-day lives. Yeah. Um, I think that, <laughs> you know, my flight that I took. Yeah. Um, no, some enga- some there are some engagements or some behaviors that human beings engage in that are completely unnecessary and yeah. also hugely, um, you know, per, you know, really providing a lot of the fossil fuel usage. Um, where it comes mm-hmm. to like the United States military, it's the number one use of fossil fuel. Warfare I mean, is a huge I gonna, expenditure I was of say, fossil fuel. We, we talk about just the carbon footprint of the last six months of bombing by Israel, like. You know, like that's you can it, you can do that in a year plus with your vehicle, you know. Yeah, and or that's mine what, like, or you know, yeah. anybody I get we it. know. You know, hey Taylor Swift taking like private jets and blah 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 blah. But yeah. like, have you ever like like the, like it's nothing compared to one day of flight training? Yeah, right. Go to yeah. Myanmar, right? Yeah, and I mean like the base, not yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, like that makes sense. <laughs> um, sorry, the bear, like go to the, you got these bases all over it, so it's like a yeah. flight training day, and it's like who cares about Taylor Swift and her private jet? You know yeah. the amount of like you know these these military jets. Mm-hmm. It come on, yeah. and then it's got the seven tons and the tanks and blah 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 and all these things. Mm -hmm. um so yeah yeah we killing people is bad warfare in large scale killing of people also bad and it's this third thing where it's like killing our ability to survive on the planet as well that that the the externalities of that killing people is killing more people yeah which i don't know there's something in that some sort of irony or something i guess the chickens Uh, yeah the chickens yeah yeah seems uh seems not great i guess pay attention and see uh how long we get to hold the record here you said 10 months 10 months might make it a year why not who knows i mean it's it's, you know april so yeah 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 i think the the most concerning thing was the the arctic uh sheet ice you know I'm talking about like record low levels of that it's like that's probably gonna be a problem at some well, point it hasn't been able to like replenish fully yeah so uh you know like, yeah yeah <laughs> i don't know oh yeah it's gonna affect us not gonna affect the the earth as a whole it'll figure it out yeah <laughs> it'll you know it'll take it on the chin just be like okay all right that's what you want got it got right. real cold for a long time you remember yeah that? Exactly. Like that's where it's like Earth's like, oh, did you want the AC on? Great. Yeah. You remember, you remember no that? You remember when things got no, you don't. Yeah. You guys couldn't survive that time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No problem. Great. Great. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh it's I don't know, very frustrating and nerve wracking because he got, you know, especially too when you talk about the political apparatus within the United States and its devotion yeah. to fossil fuel um in the international stage, same thing, you know, like OPEC's mm-hmm. got the world by the balls and it's because we can't move away, you know, from fossil fuels, you know, it's like too yeah. many people are interested in it being the main energy source and, you know, man, they're going to be dragged kicking and screaming. Yeah. I, I actually speaking, speaking of uh, fossil fuels, I got a, um, I got a new license plate yesterday because I do my registration. They asked me like what the license plate was that I wanted to get. And um, I had a couple of choices. Almost got uh, Richmond Spiders just because they put a big spider on it. You know? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw Friends of Coal. And I thought to myself, well, not many people have that one. At least, you know, maybe, maybe further, like, you know, west out in the state. But Friends of Coal. 
Friends of coal, baby. Friends of coal is the people that are just like, no, listen, we need like transition jobs for like the coal miners and everything. And we can't do this. We can't be too hasty. There's got to be clean coal. You guys thought of anthracite coal? You know, those fucking freaks. Yeah. So I thought about it for a second. I was like, that'd be a very funny thing, but I wonder how many people would get the irony of it all. (laughs) That's a that's a joke. You get it. You know, I'd have to explain to people. So No, no, no. Yeah. I just got I just got like a cool nature one instead. But Oh, that's good. Yeah, personalized yeah. I was, plates. I was I was just very surprised that Friends of Cole was a license plate. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> we get all sorts so... of things. They got the no steppy flag one here. They got all sorts of shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. see the no step on Snakey. I they see that it. one all the time. Just it's hair, like, baby. Not hate because I I just cannot like like it is so hilarious, especially too. It's like the no step on snake with the thin blue line. Yeah, you know, see yeah, those right yeah, next to each other, yeah. but also sure. the like, the fact that you went to a government entity mm-hmm. and like registered your own personal vehicle, yeah, and got the thing that makes you like everybody else, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except you're saying I'm, I love freedom. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I saw, <laughs> I saw the cursed uh, trifecta the other day. It was uh, the no steppy plate. <clears throat> They also had the thin blue line uh, Punisher sticker. Oh. <laughs> right. And then on the bumper, they had Abigail Spanberger. I was like, oh, huh, uh, okay. uh, <laughs> oh. You're a real chaos demon. Okay. Oh, I see. oh my Very God. Nice. <laughs> Stop it. No, no, no. Cool. I don't all like right. that at all. I don't like yeah. that. At yeah. all. It was all on a Subaru. I was like, what the hell's Dude. going on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably the worst. The worst. The worst. It's crazy, man. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. <laughs> I really oh. hope that that person gets stopped on a bridge and is not allowed to continue on their way. <laughs> it's a good segue. Uh, yeah, the freeway protests, man. Quite a quite a few of them popped up on uh, on Monday, huh? Yeah, which um, you know, and that's where like you know, like we'll get to um, you know, yeah, the Israel Iran stuff. But I think with yeah. the, with the, it's, I think it's it's it was. Um, important to refocus especially in the united states over like yes. what is our role in 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 the genocide <laughs> you know yes. um and uh there is and there's like the thing though is that um like i think these things do a few different things mm-hmm. um from you know like, like a, you know kind of just like general awareness you know um, and cause like these things are meant to disrupt and this yeah. is where it's like, I don't, I don't know, you know, this is something that it's like, sometimes I can, you know, ca- like calculate the, like how much economic disruption a protest did. Yes. And that is the main point. Like if you, especially too, it's like some of these major bridges that they will stop to stopping them for one minute yeah. equals, you know, yeah. Like a mile to like before the bridge, that like if you like the one minute that you stop that bridge for that first car, it's like an hour for like for like whatever cars. Right. Uh, so if you stop it for ten minutes, two hours, three hours, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. There is that that there's a mass disruption, and the point is not only that it's going to disrupt now, but this will continue, right? Yes. Like this is an action that is meant to also say this can and will continue until you stop and it's just a part of a greater plan you know an action um to to try and get this thing this 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 horrific crime of all crimes to stop yeah yeah it's i don't know it's very very interesting to see um you know i guess in one in one respect, like we are six months in and people are still going, which is one thing. I guess you know, and we'll talk about Israel, uh, Iran later. But I guess that probably renews a lot of people's you know uh, interest and dedication to actions like this. Um, it's just uh, you know, I, I think it I, it is to me it is positive to see it happening. You know, like positive to see people still like 
pushing through it, you know, ignoring uh, the the media apparatus and the, you know, the, the very politicians that are, you know, speaking out against them. You know, um, it's is is a heartening uh thing to see you know like in in richmond we have a, a march every single week you know and yeah. um i don't know that gives me a lot of hope that these uh, the younger generation because it is it's very much driven by like you know the the college here vcu and the younger generation's very you know on it you know they're very dedicated to just like you know last last week they had like a whole crafts thing and everything it was very cool people were out painting flags and yeah, no, and that's just, something, yeah, that um, whether it is uh, like the Palestinian youth movement um, mm-hmm. is has been, you know, like huge in, in organizing a lot of people across different campuses and, and, and being part of protests. And there's like a myriad of other organizations that are part of coalitions from, you know, them up to like CARE, like a major um, uh Islamic relations organization. Uh, and, you know, and that's where, yeah, you know, it's, it's positive. It's, it's like, it also too, of like, if you got time, get in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. If you, if you, I if feel you good. yeah, if you never thought that you would ever engage in a protest like that, yeah. you know, or like, if there's any time, you know what I'm saying? Let's hope there's not another time when you could, yeah. right? Like the whole point of doing these things is hopefully to bring a change about this world where these things don't happen. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no. And like every Saturday, like every Saturday um, across the nation, like usually there's like steady drum beats of, of actions and, you know, protests um, or even just mm-hmm. gatherings and educational stuff like that. Cause I know you talked about um, some of the things that, that I go down in Richmond, but, um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, no, I mean, good to see. Good thing. Doing it. Yeah. My, I think my favorite thing is there's no freak ass senators like speaking out against it. I mean, could you imagine if people like Tom Cotton were saying, push the protesters off the bridge or something? That'd be crazy. That would so, be absolutely crazy. So luckily there's, you know, sitting Senator to call for yeah. violent action against, uh, peaceful protesters very strange you know just like i feel like you would be approached by something like that in other some some other country maybe i don't know well because this country in its founding document explicitly spells out certain rights that you're like not allowed to take away ever you know yeah yeah and so it would be contradictory and who would know better than a senator? They obviously exactly, would know. Exactly. Or multiple right? senators. Because I believe that, yeah. may, I mean, could you imagine if another senator, let's say a Democrat from like Pennsylvania, hmm. also uh, thought that this was just very stupid and talked about that like at length? Yeah. What if he was how just awful, like. <laughs> how awful it is that people yeah. would, you know, yeah. stop traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean, can you imagine if that Democrat sold himself as progressive and then was yeah. dancing on, on, on his own house with a, another nation's flag yelling at people? Be crazy. Yeah, That would be, be really, be really yeah. weird if he still cried like to this day about, you know, Hamas releasing hostages and then everything would be like safe and good again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be weird. That would you know? be strange. Yeah. Which, well, good thing that guy doesn't exist and, yeah. you know. Yeah, which I guess this is the time also that I can if he did, this, you know, I'd hope like he'd get another. Uh, the only good thing about the yeah. fact that all of those bloodthirsty psychopaths actually exist and wield an immense amount of power in this world. Yeah. I mean, the earth ain't the only thing catching on fire. This yeah. dumpster fire of a Congress that we got is just Man. burn up, ready to go again. And like, I've said it before and I'll say it again. As long as they pass a budget and largely the government functions as far as making sure that grants and social security payments and all that type of stuff goes out on time, it is yeah. better for the world if this Congress does nothing. Yeah. And so MTG, Thomas Massey, let's go. Vacate yeah. the speaker. He's a dang traitor. Just he didn't it, want to fund awful. the border. Yeah. Man, have you yeah. paid? The less the less money that goes to to multiple conflicts from us, the more the less bombs that we send, you know, less weapons of war. Oh. Yeah, I, oh. they're not spending money to help, right? Yeah, yeah. right. 
they're not spending money to help us like yeah. at all nothing yeah. on the it's all foreign it's all weapons yeah it's all weapons uh, mark is all right you're from ohio okay you forgot about that that small family owned tank business up in cincinnati <laughs> that's yes. just trying to put food on the table <laughs> yeah. at night by listen. selling abrams tanks all right listen I, I i you know i did grow up in ohio and i went <laughs> to school with jimmy tankerson okay yeah, yeah the tankersons yeah. are great great family <laughs> They make great tanks. The fifth generation tank building <laughs> family, okay? And grandfather um, did it. His granddaddy did it. No, but um, I mean, uh, and that's like, uh, like, really, that's the thing too. Is that like our, our, you know, it's like as a nation, our, yeah. like, a, our, our economy. One of the pillars of our economy is our defense industrial base, and yeah. having a secure, um contractual agreement with a certain group of other countries that might yeah. or not be close to the North Atlantic. Yeah. Um, that, that is a big pillar of what just allows our economy to even look dominant or even, you yes. know, um, yes. And then it's like financial services, which is a big bunch of Kabuki theater to begin with. But at the end of the day, yeah. Um, yeah. Go protest. Know that, at the very least, these senators can talk a lot, but are all too cowardly to actually show up and 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 be involved in anything real in their life. Um, and and honestly, yeah, thank you to the you know like to the people who have been on those bridges. Like, thank you, you know. Yeah. And, um, a lot of people getting arrested. A lot of people, you know, doing doing the best they can to try to foment some sort of change in this world, you know. And I. I wish I wish the best, you know. Yeah. Which, yes, for people that you wish the worst, yes, the New York Times editorial board, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, do you want to, do you want to man. start this one? I just, you know, like it is crazy. Like you look over the, the list, you know, of things that we're not supposed to be kind of put out there. And it's man, uh, kind of, kind of wild. Don't use the word genocide. Don't use the word occupation, you know, like refugee uh, camp. Yeah. Don't use the word refugee, refugee camp. Yeah. Man. I just, um, golly, I mean, you know, we, we hear loose and Fox industries have never supported New York times, but now, especially, uh, it is, it is crazy peering back behind the curtain and realizing how much these people just absolutely fucking hate anything that goes against the narrative, you know, cause I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put this is when we talk about, you know, again, like banality of evil, right? These, it's not that they are hostile towards Palestinians. That may be on an individual basis. That may be true for some of those journalists, but overall it's, they are hostile to anything that goes against a pro Israel narrative. There is no humanity in the other side. There is no suffering in the other side. There is only the understanding that Israel is just in all of the decisions that it makes because they were necessary. Well, it's kind of like this thing, and this is where, too, of, like, <laughs> the manufacturing consent, you know, yeah. um, and how, how most people understand, like, this is a layer deep. This is, a like, a more not just, hey, you won't get hired at this place if you have these different, you know, viewpoints. Yeah. At this point, right, reality is too in focus. Yeah. The truth is too in focus, and they they are they coming over like they're stepping in yes. to say, "Hey, journalists who are supposed to be focused on the truth." Just so you know, when looking into this scenario, you cannot use these words. Yes, and like what <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like, why would you not be able to utilize certain things? You know, what I'm saying like that should you know, and just to say, "Oh, hey." It just, you just gotta understand, you know, this type of thing. It is, um, 
it's kind of like it's 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 paternalistic if you yes. kind of just like wash away all of the context of it. Mm-hmm. But once you apply the context, it's nothing but evil. Yeah, yeah. You That's are it, man denying just, a it, genocide, right? And you are yeah. convincing others for their job yeah. to deny it think, as well. I think back to stuff like Network, you know, <laughs> like from the seventies, like. Or, you know, more more recent, um, Nightcrawler, you know, and the yeah. way in which like these kind of like these people kind of perpetuate these stories and how they're, you know, crafted to be a very viewed through a very specific lens uh, once the, the time they get to the viewer. And, and again, like we don't often get up here behind the curtain, you know, in the way that we kind of have have gotten with the uh, New York Times in the past day or two. And it's just. I don't know. It's, I know all these things. I know. I know what they do. I understand they manufacture consent. We read the book, you know. But when you get to actually hear it, you get There's to understand. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, we we named the you know podcast <laughs> yeah. a certain way for a reason, you know. But like, like I know all those things. But once you actually, it's it's just still kind of unbelievable. I guess like once you actually interact with that truth once you get to, to to see it with your own eyes like hear it like that's just another level yeah, of just well, like god damn man what are we doing and like, i mean what, what happened the idea of journalism you know it's just always been this way and this is the like the thing where especially too because and like honestly and like some of it is kind of like a shocking thing right but it's like no. and then like the object permanence comes in because like media saw Yes, yeah. months a few months ago. Yeah, and like his, what did he do wrong? Did he, you know, did he push false information? Did he yeah. lie? Did he treat his coworkers well or unwell? Right. Um. Uh. Oh. And I mean, and even <laughs> going back to you know, hey, you know, my number one presidential candidate, Jank Uter, don't care, vote Jank. Golly, yeah. Um. But no, I mean, he got pushed out of MSNBC for, you know, probably just yeah. me, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 but at yeah, the end yeah. of the day, though, like, there are these, like, real obvious instances of, like, hey, man, you just flew too close to the sun. Yes. And by that, you just meant the truth. And then, like, yes. this is where, too, it's like, many of not as someone that came from, like, British journalism. Mm-hmm. You just can't even, like, you can't even do British journalism in the United States. Correct. Just that, even that, right? And like, that is plenty that's of a step too far. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, it's so yeah, yeah. it's wild. You know, we talk about, um, you know, or, or we have like in the past, we talked about like the Knesset is a much different um, body than you know the 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 Senate and the the Congress here. In that, like, there is actual, like, dissent. You know, there are, like, opinions that you, I guess, you would never kind of, like, encounter. And, you know, you expand that out a little bit. Like, you, you know, you look at the the different, like, journalistic, like, outfits uh, in and around. And there are, like, you know, uh, some of them, I sh- uh, you know, a little more independent. But, you know, you expand out to, you know, uh, within that region. You've got, like, Al Jazeera. Uh, you talk about Britain, you know, you got things like Channel 4, um, where you just have unabated, like, you know, access to, tr- like, there, there is no spin, just, hey, these are the things that are happening, you know? Yeah, at the like, end of the day... Hey, this is this is it. There is no, there is no uh, you know, ulterior motive or anything like that. This is just looked into it, and this is what's happening. Yeah, and 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 like, and this is where like to be clear too is like to these ends of like these little bit better bits of journalism. Yeah, it largely ends up with just like a more honest understanding where the person just says, "I'm not going to answer that question." Yeah, sure. Right, which I mean, that's better than never asking. Right, yeah. like that's yeah. way better than never asking. You know, it exposes power a little bit more. Correct, um, which is good. You know, I. Just, you know, very powerful and very necessary, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, it's not, you know, it's not the end all be all, you know, but like at the end of the day, it was like, you completely cut that out and you end up with, I think like people, like with like the United States largely as a whole and our, like our, our just so miseducated 
and or ignorant populace as how our foreign policy is felt and pertains to the rest of the world. Um, yeah. You know, we're just we're just so far out on the island. I, I think so that's a good world, you know. Yeah, I think I think that's a good point to to move on to talking about Israel and Iran. <laughs> because, <laughs> because man, I I don't know, man. I came up uh in, in media, you know, literacy and understanding like, you know, post post high school like seeing everything that 9/11 had to offer, you know? Everything post 9/11. So I can't say that everything that's on like CNN and MSNBC really like surprises me anymore. But it, again, it's just like that you see it and you're like this, like I was watching CNN on Saturday. I lied. I was, I was, I was paying attention. There's no weekend. <laughs> I was watching CNN on Saturday and fucking James Bolton comes on and I'm like, or John Bolton, a uh, John Bolton. Sorry, yeah, yeah, James, yeah, yeah. Uh, James. John Bolton comes on. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing here? No, what's happening? What are we doing? No, come on. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, I mean, you know, I fucking, I just think we uh, need to start bombing them. And I'm like, yeah, of course you do. Yeah. You yeah. operate. You operate a blood ritual sacrifice site underneath of your house that has Honestly, to be filled every year. Of course, you believe that. If if you ripped off <laughs> John Bolton's suit coat and there is a pull string behind him, <laughs> I would not be shocked at all. Right? Like, again, this you is the same guy a week ago. Bob said, Bob. you know who I'm voting for in 2024? Dick Cheney. Yeah, of course. You all are <laughs> bound by the same blood curse. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> You fucking maniac! It is so crazy, Jesus! It is so so absolutely voting funny. for the only guy that shot another man in the face yeah. and got him to apologize. Yeah, yeah. you fucking sicko! It's just like God. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like you know, they like, and, and Jake Tapper's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, that's yeah, we should, yeah. I mean, you know, somebody's got to think about it. Maybe we shouldn't just bomb Which, Iran, you know. Because this God is where damn, the more that I think about it, you know, yeah. because, well, for one, and that's where too is like I go back to the 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 moment where Israel did the strike on the yeah. Iranian consulate. Yeah, 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 and like that being a thing where like you know because like there's just and it sounds kind of like shocking when people talk about unprecedented. That's unprecedented. Yeah. That's and then direct, actually not unprecedented. Even, not even a week later, Ecuador just busts into Mexico's embassy. Because yeah. I guess we just do that now. We can just do that now. Yeah. And there's no, and this is the thing where that happens. And yes. the United States is still refusing to even, um, even recognize that it was a consulate building. Yes. That's how the United States. Oh well, no, we actually don't Which know if it's fuck it's crazy, next man. door. The Canadian consulate building was 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 damaged. Yes, in strike right. Yes. So maybe there was actually some super secret military action going on in that consulate building that ev- our that our uh, friend, our ally, Canada. Yeah. We're just right next door. Had no Sorry, idea what's going on. Listen, we're looking at Google Maps. It said there was a subway there. We're not really sure yeah, what it was. Yeah, actually. we were making uh, maple syrup in the back. Had yeah. no idea what was going on. Didn't see anything, oh, right? Or it was a consulate building. Yeah, they you bombed know? a fucking consulate, man. Like, they did it. They, and, they, they, to, you know, to to some uh, credit, not, not CNN, uh, but to some network's credit, like, they did highlight the fact that, you know, Iran had been, you know, uh, hit first, which was very interesting. I saw one, yeah. or, one or two networks that brought that up. But. And because it's an instant way. So you have that happen. They go to the U.N. Security Council and say, you have to condemn this action, which they yes. really should have. If there is any semblance of international law, which is not, you would condemn this fair, action. In the, in the aftermath of Saturday, I believe the Secretary General did you know, uh, acknowledge that Iran had a right to act within international law. Yeah. But that, so that is, that would, that's the secretary general is, is the head of like the whole UN and that's more of like, but that's, but like when it comes to the security council, well, these are things that used to be binding. No, absolutely. They're not binding anymore. Right. So Iran was pushing for, right. This condemnation. 
Yes. They completely don't say anything. And then you've got a what week and a half. Yes. <laughs> you like and just and waiting, maybe when, one day. All and I feel like you like with the facts of this strike, it dispels a lot of the narrative in and of itself. Because yeah. Turkey and Jordan, mm-hmm. they are openly saying Iran told us what they were going to do. Yeah. And we told the U.S. Yeah. This, I I would believe this because the United States, within the week, shifted military personnel into the region that did engage in defense of the strike. Yes. I believe I believe preliminary at this point has said that it was more of our missiles that took down more more of our counter that took yeah. down missiles than Iron Dome, yeah. which is no. not great. I, I don't fine. think it's great news if you're it's Netanyahu, no. you know? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Because they're not Don't even putting it. out like if we're talking about the caliber of missiles that were they they they're putting out, they're really not they're and not sending fast boys, you know? This, yeah, exactly. And this thing is too, right? That's is not that great, man. The United States, Israel, Iron Dome, Aero yes. System, David Sling. Yep. Jordan, UK, and France. France. Five yep. countries were engaging in shooting, right? Yes. Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates helped with targeting. Yes. Now. Does you does Israel have friends in the neighborhood? Right. Does Israel, I mean, that's, and, does Israel that, not that have should, friends in the region? Right. That should dispel this entire fucking discussion that we have to have every time. Well, you know, if it wasn't for Israel, you know, if 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 the U.S. wasn't defending them, then tomorrow, right. no, uh, it looks like it looks very clear to me. If they and, have multiple, as we've known, like this isn't a surprise. No, and obviously, and, the, and this is where. Yeah, I can't help but but think, and like this is where in this in this immediate in just for that strike, you know, what I'm mm-hmm. saying like Israel, you know, like Israel did it, you know, like Israel yeah. escalated and, and and I think forced Iran's hand in the inaction from the Security Council, you know, and like this is where it's just yeah, you know, um, but with Iran, you know, talking with Turkey and these other countries, those other countries sharing this information. This huge military defense developed, and yeah. I mean, what you know, one or two missiles actually hit. Um, mm-hmm. There is only like one, like you know, there's like a nine year old girl that like got injured reportedly. Which yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, that fucking sucks. You know, like I, yeah. like, I, 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 you know, but like overall, right? Mm-hmm. This I think is 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 more could be more better described. As the largest military training exercise. Sure. Ever. I mean, this is this is intelligence for both sides, you know? Like that this absolutely a, tells this you a lot a about game. Israel's response system. Right. Uh and, and again, like you talk about Iran, the, like I know a lot of people focus on the fact that we've done training exercises specifically on Iran before and we would fucking lose like outright, right? Like that's that's a discussion to have. Yeah. But when we were talking about like them going up against another country within range of like their their ICBMs and cruise missiles like I don't think enough people realize how long Iran has been stockpiling Mm -hmm. cruise missiles all right they've they've just been building it for decades all right they like this was nothing this was just a little Oh, let's see. Is, let's throw out a couple shot heads. Let's uh, let's throw one or two yeah. clues out. And call you know, it. And I and like really too is like we could bracket it, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah. Iran needed this amount of time to, to you know work up that type of strike package. Yeah. And the other militaries just got there just in time. Maybe that happened. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe that happened. Or they were sitting there waiting. Are yeah. you guys ready? You guys yeah. ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Who knows? That's it. Like, Hard to say you know, what happened. Yeah, yeah. Who's who's to say what happened? Like, obviously, there's there's information on the other side as well. U.S. gets to understand the uh, oh yeah, you know the the capability. But the thing is, the, the issue is, is that if it takes a coordination of five different countries targeting and firing, yeah. plus two countries just targeting, right? Yeah. If that's what it takes in order to stop that, what happens if they don't have some time 
to prepare. All right. And if you say right. two, it's like, oh, if I have, yeah, remember, you, you shot got the down lead time one. because those drones take five to six hours, right? Well, yeah. Like, what but happens? They, <laughs> the thing that, though, is that <laughs> they, you know, like those drones, yeah, that like that we're going across and like, oh, hey, we're tracking these drones. Yeah. Like those drones also had that whole week and a half, right? Yes. Because imagine yes. if that drone strike hits the consulate and then those drones start, you know, if they, if they yeah, yes. right? They strike the Israel strike the consulate. Like, this is what Israel you has to understand. Yeah. You like Well, they, and they you, don't. You, I mean, remember Israel War Room the next day was like, Well, yeah, look at all our missiles and showed like a little infographic. They're like, We've got fucking Jericho threes. And it's like, Yeah, that's great, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. think what are you gonna where are you gonna fire, Matt? Like, but this is my question. All right, cool. Where are you where are you popping them off at in Iran? I want to know what's your like, I'm sure you have like fucking preliminary intel. All right. I'm sure that you have like fucking strike destinations, but you think that that's going to actually Matt? Like, you know, what are you going to do? John Bolton says he wants to strike nuclear enrichment facilities. What does that mean? All mean right. Little, When's yeah. the last time you all had any intel on those in Iran? Is it a place with aluminum tubes in it? Right. Like what's the, what's the plan here? You know, like, uh, I mean, literally, I mean, for him, just to, like go to war with Iran. Like his guy yeah, is well, like, yeah, a absolutely. Fucking, but again, Iran like, has, you know, and then now we start to move back to the topography of Iran and you start talking about, hey, what are you going to do? Do you have fucking, do you have enough bunker busters to start trying to tear through the mountains where a lot of these fucking ICBMs are sheltered? Yeah. What's your plan, man? Like, it's just, <laughs> just <laughs> you are a much more population dense country. All right. Oh, yeah. What is your what is your strike package look like for the largest fucking country in the Middle East? All right. Yeah, I don't. What are you going to do? There's and that's where. Um, like, there is a reason, right? Yeah. There is a reason why Iraq was on the menu, right? Yeah. Like yeah, there's absolutely. a reason why you can only do some internal destabilization and like invading has never, ever, ever been an option. Correct. Actual warfare has never been an option because we, we like literally you don't want that smoke. Yeah. This is not Afghanistan, you know, where they've also like you said, like this has not been war torn for generations. This has not yes. been. You know, especially even the thing of like Iraq where Saddam was like, wait a minute, dog, for real? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, again, yeah, again, like, so when, when I talk specifically about like, where's your intel coming for like these strike yeah. points? Like, yeah. you were friends with Saddam up until the point exactly. when you started going in and fucking with him, yeah. all right? Like, yeah. you had some pretty fresh intel on the ground <laughs> yeah. what was going on. And again, like, it was wrong. It was aluminum tubes or whatever the fuck. But <laughs> exactly. you had but some that, understanding that, yes. for what was going on there. And then the like, we had a much bigger foothold as yeah. far as, our, like, our tentacles into that country. And, like, literally, because we, you know, we, we fucked with their politics. Yes, you know, and, and, and we you fucked know, with like, Iran's politics, but it's been oh, yeah, so well, many it's fucking like, decades yeah, since ex- that. Exactly. What, like once that happened, and you know, um, yeah. uh, there, there's, there. I mean, they learned. They learned their lesson. Yeah. They learned yeah. the lesson pretty quick. Like these people are not your friends, and you know, and this is where this is like I'm not co-signing any. Like Iranian official, you know, declaration of this, that, and whatever. It's sure. nothing to do with the internal politics of Iran, and or like it doesn't fucking matter, right? This is about the geopolitics of nation states. Yes, and in this case, Iran is the rational actor. Absolutely, and like we would do, we would do the same thing, or worse, or way, way if worse. Someone and have. I mean, remember, like. Let's talk about like hitting a consulate, like or or a um, you know, or an embassy that has happened to us before in recent history in the past twenty years. And when it happened, we carried out a continent wide fucking strike. All yeah. right, like <laughs> we said, oh no, sorry, you don't get to do that. Yeah. All right, like, uh, and that's and this is where it is kind of you know. And, you know, in a way, in like so many ways, yeah. but this is the world of Dulles, of Kissinger. Yes. Yeah, right? absolutely. 
because and this is they still say it too and like like you get these you know foreign policy you know hawks where it's not power unless you use it yes this is something that you know kissinger firmly believed yeah is you you don't you're not actually a world power unless you use it yes you have to use it in order to be a dominant world power and that is something that Vladimir Putin has learned. It's, it's the world that we've created. Yeah, right. absolutely. Um, and these it's people the reason are acting, that Iran right? struck us post Soleimani as it's, well. It's the reason they hit those those. And again, obviously, again, with advanced that warning. A, yeah, yes, another coordinated they told, attack. They told us. They said, they, "Hey, we're going to attack these fucking bases. Yeah, because we got to save face. What's up? Yep. And sorry. And and that's where. Hey, an airstrike on some on some base in, in you know that they got um that's one thing. Yeah. I, I think that the example that they showed of like those amount of missiles, um and like that, you know, with the drones. Yeah, oh my god. Because this is where too, if I was an Israeli citizen, mm-hmm. like I don't want to play this game anymore. No, man. <laughs> I mean, right. they've been on that for a couple months now, and they've right. been, you know, protesting <laughs> yeah. like Benjamin Netanyahu's. Normally, house, the like, Iron Dome does right. The the bullshit rockets that's coming the out of Gaza. Of it. The yes. Iron Dome, largely no problem. Yes, but you're yes. telling me we had to get five countries to help us out. Yes, like yeah, and that's just yeah, exactly. I don't want to play, play this game, game anymore. anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play like, this game anymore because what happens when those ships leave? Yeah. Are they staying here forever? Yeah. Like, do they need to be rearmed right now? Right. This yeah. is the other thing, too, is because, like, if Iran would have just sent another wave, are those ships got enough ammunition? Those planes, how long does it take them to get refueled, rearmed? Yeah. These, and like, that's where the thing is, too. It's like, these are questions that Iran might have had been able to answer. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And yeah, I think I think, um, you know, it's a huge boon of intel for them to understand, you know, like up until now, if you if you want to take the biggest line from Israel and the U.S. And let's say they've been prodding the defenses for decades now and inserting members of Hezbollah into Hamas and and getting intel on their weakness. That is nothing that pales in comparison to what they stood to learn on Saturday. You know, like yeah. that's absolutely nothing comparatively. Like they they got a real time analysis of what response would look like from Israel, what it would take to defend them. And again, they sent fucking trash, man. They sent a bunch of garbage, if we're being honest. Like, comparative, comparative to what they have in the fucking bank. Yeah. Like, this was yeah. this yeah. was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me throw a couple paper balls at you. They sent they sent comparative to, you know, those Hamas missiles that go up, right? Like, yeah. for them. Yeah. Um, so, if you want to... Yeah. Because there That's was a like fucking dangerous there, game to sit around and wanting to play with fucking Kameni, you know. This is where it's like it's like beyond comprehension, and it is very disappointing that you know, like we are at this world, you know. Yeah, but it's like some of the technological innovations that they have in their rocket systems is it should be alarming, right? They, they like, said they said yesterday. I said they right if uh, Israel increases tensions. They'll start sending over we- and okay, again, this causes like fucking chicken hawks to be like nuclear. But like they said, they'll start sending weapons they've not used before, and that just means like fucking latest and greatest, man. That yeah. means like current technology missiles. Yes. And again, if the Iron Dome can't take down twenty-year-old fucking Jericho ones, it ain't gonna have a fucking clue what no. to do with like new targeting system. Well, like, how, what are you gonna this do? Is you gonna scramble those like, with those with the drones? Yeah. Like literally and essentially too, it's just like they are like beefed up toys. Yes, you know what absolutely. Because like, who gives a shit? You know, like you got a plastic drone that'll like actually beefed up. It'll last a long flight. Throw a little C four on it. Maybe it fucking lands on somebody. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe. But maybe not. Yeah. It distorting the 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 readings of these targeting systems and all that type of stuff. Yeah. That's 
that's dangerous. And like you said, too, it's like a lot of these rockets are not their top of the line stuff. Absolutely that, not. That like supersonic, right? Like, cause like, it's like they move like a, like, it's like, it's like a mile of like eight seconds or something. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like these yeah. things are cooking, you know? Yeah. Um, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Like, are. It's like, I'm not trying to like laugh. Like, it's just like, it's a little crazy, dude. And well, like, no, I mean, like, <laughs> and this, like, this is what, like, I don't know. This is the shit that's in my head. And these are the things that make me like extremely anti-war because like, I've like, I've done, I've sat down until fucking four or 5 a.m. And gone uh, like in a deep dive, you know, and been yeah. like, oh, fuck, man. Like, that's it's, it. Like, my 20s just sitting down, like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we could just quite literally fucking toast this whole thing. And, like, and also, you too, know? it's like we discredit, we really discredit our own military ability in, in so fact that we were so devoted to the military industrial complex here and allowed yeah. it to become into just a corrupt monopoly, right? Because, like, I, I mean, I mean, like I don't want to like. There's definitely not an argument for like. Oh, we need to do better military. Space. Like, no, our 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 country is what is is engaged in imperialist. You know, like yes, <laughs> you know, like uh, economic uh, dominance. Um, but what the United States? You know, if you just zoomed in, you know, the Pentagon can't pass an audit. You know, and forty percent of the military budget goes directly to these contractors. You know, yeah. what is actually being helpful, you know, to, to having this huge apparatus and, and having a better technical, technological, you know, whatever the hell, what a tech, more yes. tech, better tech military. Yeah. Because I, 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 you know, I'm sorry, you know, i just don't know what the point of an F 35 is in that scenario. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. I'm not sure. What you know, because and that's where it was like, they, like, well, and that's where it was like the other was like largely doing like, like they were you know like engaged in that stuff like that. But it's just like, well, what, what, like, why did it take a one point six trillion dollars to make it? You know, and like we're just in that. This is what we're using it for. Yeah, could we have saved all that money and the UN Security Council just condemns the strike? Maybe we don't but, sell any as well, many again, weapons to I Israel think, to begin with, and there's no strike in the consulate to begin with. I, I agree with you, but then on the other hand, I just think about you know we we have a lot of people that are very in the in the pocket of Raytheon, and Northrop Grumman, and all these other contractors. It's like, let's see, let's I mean, test it out. Let's. Our What's the cost? You know, Secretary already, of Defense was on the board, and the last we're one given, was on the we're board. Given a lot of money. <laughs> You know, might as well see what it's worth. Yeah. But yeah, like, you know, again, sorry, what happens? You know, what happens if Iran puts out, you know, the good stuff? It, like, what, it, like, my question, I think, over the past couple of days, uh, when they've been talking about like something you've never seen before, are they going to start putting out like the Fatah, which is supposed to be like their hypersonic system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's I mean, that's yeah. ball game, yeah. man. Like, I'm sorry, like you you're know, like, you're just, like I, yeah. that's where it's like, who knows? That's it. It's like I just from all of the documentation, right? Like that yeah. that missile is landing. Yes, absolutely. Not even there. There's nothing intercepting, right? Like, yeah, I just. Can you imagine? Just like so the, what ha- what happens the, if the child we allow... of the bird that got hit by Randy Johnson's pitch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. Like they're just poof. <laughs> um and and again like and what happens because I think this is the other thing to really consider uh on Saturday. They, you know, Israel want love to brag on Sunday about how they didn't hit any civilian infrastructure and like yeah, they didn't want to. They were hitting your military infrastructure. All right? Yeah. That was their plan to to Again, get information and check what type of protection you have for those places. But I imagine they could. You know, I imagine I imagine they could uh, hit, you know, a civilian population if they wanted to. Do and you want to play? I, do you want to gamble that? This is was like, I think, like, what the is, fuck the is wrong like, with you guys? There's like an IDF uh, headquarters is like the Tel Aviv mall or some shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Just using human people's shields, human man. shields. Yeah. Yeah, someone should do something about that. But again, yeah, but like, what do you do? You want 
you know, like, I guess it gives you an insight into the, uh, the, the mind, obviously, uh, of the IDF. Like, yeah, of course, that's what they, they believe in collective punishment. They believe, you know, more, most moral army in the world. Of course, they, you know, they think that their main aim would have been to hit civilian, you know, uh, well, infrastructure. This is thing that's right? like, yeah, because like we're like, especially too, when it comes to like military installations. Yeah. They're all, you know, they don't even be like population centers, you know? Yeah. But there are cities and towns that are right Correct. next to them. Yeah. Uh, no, they hit Fort Eustis or, you know, fucking uh, any, anything around and around like the, the Eastern seaboard. Those are all towns, man. Yeah. Those are all entire fucking, you know, one of the last towns. running Fuddruckers in America, Jacksonville, North Carolina, baby. <laughs> God damn right. Actually, I want to put together, together my down. sloppy <laughs> burger on base, all right? Oh, um, better have a bushel of lettuce. Yes. Yeah. You get to self serve. You get, so you get other people's jerks. Forge too, which yeah. nice. nice. Um, but no, that's the thing, though, is that like um, this idea of, oh, oh, human shield. Uh, right. But also, yeah. too, if like if you live in a highly dense or a densely populated area and you have a military, like, that's just it. You know what I'm saying? Humans, yeah. you know, it's like one plus one, you know, like you can't do anything yes. about it. So like this whole argument is very, very bullshit, but, um, yeah, absolutely. No. And that's the thing. It's like, yeah. Cause like, and this is the thing where it's, you know, with all the coordination, with all those things and stuff like that, like, yeah, this is a war game. Yes. And though it was just the ramifications, like the range, right. Mm-hmm. The, you know, like, oh, hey, we're going to the range and we're going to do, you know, we're going to do a little force on force shooting. O- only Israelis would have been the casualties in this war game. Right. Like, you know, because like and trust, you know, it's like, and I, like, I don't know if, like, it's not that we want to focus on like, oh, the poor people of Israel. Right. Like, yeah. Stop the occupation. Poor people of Israel. Stop. You know, like and that's where it was like, we'll say it just like everyone. Stop your genocidal regime of a of a of a uh, of a government, and yeah. people might treat you a little bit differently. Um, but at the end of the day, like with this Iranian strike, with the you know from the consulate to the coordination or to the lack of addressing it from the United States Security Council, UN Security Council, not United States, mm-hmm. <laughs> for yeah, but yeah, from yeah. the UN Security yeah. Council, you know, not yeah. uh, condemning it. You have that week and a half preparation and then you have the execution of this giant war game and yeah and just the israeli citizens you are the only people on the well at least you know u.s military members hey navy seamen you're the only ones on the line in this game and this strike that did not have to happen you know none of this had to happen but for this moment you know israel you were the only ones that were that were targeted yeah and like they need to think about that shit i would it would make me think about well what the hell is actually going on because like for real i don't want to play this game you know like i don't want to play anymore yeah well we'll see what happens uh we'll see what happens the next couple weeks man yeah said they want to plan a counterattack or something like that i'm We'll see. We'll see what happens in the next couple <laughs> weeks. I guess we'll see how actually fucking dumb this country is. Yeah, just stop, uh, is. right? <laughs> like, I really hope they've got somebody in that cabinet who is like, is just the very least a self-serving coward. Yes, right? absolutely. Like, like not, not even, just, you know, yeah, not even it, a, not even a clear head. Just somebody that's just like, oh, I don't want to die. It's just, you know, can like, we get a coward? <laughs> yeah, can I get a coward? God, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um see. Yeah, we will see. We will see. Oh, what's your what's your final thought, Marley? <laughs> My final oh, thought dude. actually yeah. as you know, we talk about mm-hmm. so much uh international stuff. Yeah. Civil Civil War. Did you watch it? I saw it. I feel. Um I feel like it was the greatest documentation in how moment by moment the world yeah. that we are in now will descend into a civil war. It's it's a movie that told all the bad people that I think are bad in America that they're bad. They were the yes. villains. Okay. And all the good people that I like in the movie, yeah. they were good. And we won yeah. in the end. In the civil war. 
No, nice. I thought honestly, nice. there's some parts where I was just like you guys, you know, like that that turned me off just because like yeah, I just think it's like just movie things, you know, bullshit movie yeah. things. I I, I've like been told it's the most like apolitical political uh, film to come out in some time. It's, it's a it's a movie about journalists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. that's where you know the hype on it. Ten out of ten. Right. Yeah. We've yeah. got a a country completely unable to understand media literacy. You might as well play into it to sell some tickets. I yeah, did enjoy yeah, yeah. the movie. I thought, you know, I and, and that's where it too is like there are like it's a movie about journalism. I think that it's like especially combat journalism. There's yeah. you know, there's some things that, you know, it, it'll, you know, kind of make you wrestle with, you know, what is ethical and not. Yeah. Um, you know. And one of the interesting so it's things, still an Alex Garland film, okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. um, but um, but like one of the things that I that I do like and like that I think is like jarring is the what does the United States look like if it's not on top? Um, yeah, and so yeah, there's yeah. like one moment of like the exchange, like the currency is no longer as you know as 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 dominant as it is now, and you know, I like that, like of just seeing, like, yeah, America. This is, you know, this is what other, this is what war might look like, right? Like, yeah. you know, this type, that type of thing. Like, this is, this is what happens. You know, what I'm saying, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. it's not, it's not like it happens on the big screen. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I did. Uh, I saw that, and. I guess I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing movies again because on Tuesdays, yeah. seven dollar tickets at this place, and I was like, seven dollar tickets, that's right. pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. I, I'd, like, I'd that's take good that for like the year two thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I will um, say, there's uh, the Bird Theater in here in town. It's like uh, I think it's like nine dollar tickets or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. And they have matinees for five. Can't get mad at it. You know? No, hell no. It's so, a yeah. historic theater. You just kind of you know. It doesn't have all the niceties of AMC, the recliners or whatever. They're they're old seats, but who cares? Yeah, whatever. Bring your own yeah. recliner. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, yeah, yeah. You know, let's we'll see movies while we still can. What about you? Yeah. Um. You know what? I'll I'll, I'll be uh, in the media pit with you as well. Uh, all out. Absolutely perfect. Just ten out of ten. Which, what a what a what a viewing uh, what a feast for the eyes. Honestly, <laughs> did not expect it, but uh, I'm putting it up there at the uh, the absolute tippity top of video game adaptations. Honestly, so and this is where I have I am not I'm not a game. Mm-hmm. Don't have to be. It's still it's just great. Yeah, which I, know, is, like, I do if, appreciate. If you, if you liked, I'll tell you what a logical con- continuation. If you enjoyed Civil War for what it presented. Fallout's just that, but what if, like, what happens post bombs, yeah. and also in flashbacks, what happened to get us there? To get us there, oh, okay, get you. And bit it's more. it yeah. is very true to if you know any, you don't know anything about Fallout, so you can go in blind. But it, it is very true to the world uh, that we live in, and who might uh, precipitate those things. Oh, nice. So it is. It is. It is. It's it's, yeah, yeah. It's escape. Yeah. yeah, no, it is a, uh, it, it is quite good. Which also and though the X Men ninety seven, I heard that is pretty good as well. I haven't started that, man, but um, it's great. Yeah, it is. If you did you watch the original? I I'm an eighties baby. Yes. Yeah. Was, okay. 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 Even America. even the the fourth and fifth season with the the shitty like uh, animation. Yeah. I mean, no, I I don't I don't remember, but like I remember like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. eating a no, big ass was, bowl of cereal, you know, and like yeah, da, da, yeah, yeah. Da, da, no, uh, ninety ninety seven carries it on, man. Yeah, do it's, they do the music? It carries, Is it still the same music? Yeah, well, almost. They they change it a little bit, but it's pretty much the same riff. Um, it's gone, it's gone woke. And they, man, they they make everything just. Uh, it's it's people that actually love X Men, you know. Nice. It's not it's none of this Marvel trash where it's like formulaic kevin feige gotta fucking you know do all the things and jerk off like uh, uh tony stark or something like it's, it's actually it's like people that enjoy comics you know Word. so it's nice all right it's a lot of a lot of a lot of good uh stuff it's got a little you know it's a little di in it or whatever a little woke but past that x-men yeah the woke x-men no. that's right that's yeah. i know i know yeah 
I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, just, just don't it. mess with it, right? Just yeah. don't mess with the storyline. Yeah, they made yeah, they made Gambit bisexual. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! They made him yeah. woke. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. <laughs> no, it's it's great. Uh, it's it's. I'm I'm waiting. I think that comes out today or tomorrow. I'm waiting with bated breath to uh, to see the next episode. It's been pretty fucked up. Oh well, yeah. I gotta I gotta check it out. Um, yeah, but um, word. I'll get All stuff right. out there. Nice. Yeah. Well, next week we'll hopefully not uh you know be be watching uh Middle East tear itself apart more. I don't know. Yeah. 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 And next time. Hopefully, my prison cell fucking green screen works again. But uh, yeah. you know, we'll, yeah. we'll get yeah. that worked out. Um, that's part of the that's part of the witness protection, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll be back next week. Uh, like, subscribe, hit all the things. Bye. Peace.